Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth and today we're going to be working on part 17 of how to make a Discord bot. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pay all command. This will allow you to pay every user currently using your economy system. Before we get started I want to let you guys know that in this video we will be using the mongoose package so if you didn't already go back and watch my databases video as it is crucial to be able to make this command. So getting started we're going to go ahead and right click commands, new file, and type payall.js. In here, we're just going to open up our ping command as always, copy the contents, and paste it into our payall command. Change the name to payall, and delete these two lines. Next up, we're going to add two things to the top of our file. We're going to add the mongoose package and our bot config file. Once you have those added, we're going to go ahead and connect to our database, and we can do that just by using the one we used in our leaderboard at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and copy our model as well, so copy both of these and paste it in. If you didn't watch my leaderboard video, I highly recommend it. It adds a sort of competitiveness to your economy system, so uh, go check out that video. So obviously we don't want anybody to be able to use this command, so we need to check if it's us the bot creator. So we're going to do if message dot author dot ID. If that does not equal, and then we're going to need our ID. So go ahead and pull up Discord right here and right click your account and copy ID. If you do not see copy ID, remember just go down to user settings and it's under appearance. All the way down at the bottom, developer mode, make sure you turn that on. Once it's on, you can right click your account and you'll see copy ID. So copy that. And then if we head back to our thing, we can go ahead and paste it in here. So now this line is basically saying if message.author.id, so the person that sent the message, does not equal that specific ID, or in other words, you, if it doesn't equal you, then we're going to go ahead and just return it. Next, we can go ahead and do data.find. And we're going to be searching for multiples, so we're going to do just find, not find one. And here we're going to do dot sort. And make sure you get all these brackets correct, because it will affect the outcome. Uh, and we're going to do the all one, because we used that in our data. We're going to sort by, um, we're going to enter down more brackets. And we're going to sort by money. And we're going to do descending. And here we can do dot execute more uh, brackets, error, res. Outside here, we're going to do an arrow function, curly brackets, enter. And then we're going to check if error. And we're going to console.log error. So this first line we're going to do if args zero does not exist, then we're going to return message dot reply. Please specify an an amount like that. And next we're going to check if args zero does not equal math dot floor args zero then we're going to return message dot reply I'm going to do please enter only whole numbers there we go and okay if res does not exist then we're going to return message dot reply no users found 
So that would only happen if for some reason you have no users in your database, which it, we, it's important we put that in there though because if we didn't put it in there and you didn't have any users, your bot would then crash. So now we're gonna make a for loop. We're gonna do i equals zero. We're gonna do i is less than res.length and we're gonna do i plus plus. Next, we're gonna go ahead and uh, in here do data dot find one and do our normal data searching user ID is going to equal res I dot user ID just like that. Um, okay, next we can go in here and do error. Whoops, error data and we want arrow function <clears throat> and then in here obviously we want to check for error if error console dot log error and we're going to check if data exists then we're going to do data dot money plus equals parse integer args zero and we're going to do data dot save dot catch error console dot log error just like that and then of course we're going to go ahead and at the very bottom down here we're going to return message dot channel dot send and we're going to do um, we're going to grab the message dot author dot username so that whoever's paying which would be you admin paid args zero let's add one more dollar sign here arg zero to everyone just like that so we can go ahead and save that and we can go ahead and open our terminal new terminal and run our bot okay our bots online so now if we go ahead and check our balance we have two million if we go ahead and check at Ruby's balance they have two million so now if we go ahead and do pay all and we do one million paid one million to everyone so now if we go ahead and check our balance we have three million if I go ahead and check at uh, Ruby's balance Ruby has three million as well so there we go guys that's how you can pay everyone Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it or it helped you in any way, please leave a like down below and uh, thanks for watching.